Now, in this lecture, we'll talk about what is array flip function. We will take a look at how this function can be used in PHP. So, what is array flip function? The array flip function exchange all keys with their associated values in an array. Array flip function flips all keys with their associated values. The syntax of this function is start with the array flip function and then it has a single parameter called array. Now, this is the required parameter of this function. Here you can specify an array of key value pair to be flipped. Now, we're going to use this function to flip array values. Let me show you a very simple example to understand how this function works. So, for example, let's say if I have here an array and in this array, I have some key and value pair. Now, I want to flip this array. So, I'm going to just simply create here a variable flipped. You can specify any name to this result variable and then I'm going to specify array flip function. In the parentheses, I'm going to pass my array which I want to be flipped. So, I'm going to specify here in the parentheses input. So, I'm going to specify this array in this parentheses. When I print this variable flipped, I'm going to have a result something like this. I'm going to have 1 and the value of this one is a. You can notice we have here key a and the value of this a is 1. So, this flip function will exchange the key and value. So, the key became value and value became key. So, this function will flip the array and return to the variable. Now, what if, if I just change here, 1. As you can notice here, I have one value to both these keys. Now, when I try to execute this statement, it's going to return a result something like this. That is because of we have two values same in this array. So, the array will consider this value as key. So, as you know, you can't duplicate the array index. So, that is why the array only takes the only one value. So, it's just going to override this first array key and value. Now, keep in mind, this function will not change your array. If you try to print this input variable, then it's going to return this array. Now, the question comes in where you can use this function. Now, you can use this function if you want to get the index value instead the value of the array. Now, let me show you a very simple example. So, for example, I have here an array and in this array, I have some values. Now, what I want, I want to get index of this array. I don't want to get the values of this array. Instead, I want to get the index value of this array. So, I can use it in my program. I can simply call array key function for that. For example, if I just see here print r and in this parenthesis, I'm going to call array keys and specify this array, then in this statement, it's going to return the result something like this. I'm going to have all the index of this array. Using this array, you don't know which index has which value. So, you just need to compare both this array to identify the orange has a zero index, the mango has one index and the banana has second index. You all know arrays start with a zero index. But what I want, I want to display the value as well with the array index. So, if the array index is zero, then I want to display the index value as well. So, I'm going to just get rid of this statement. I'm going to simply call here a variable flip and specify array flip function to it. And in the parentheses, I'm going to call this array. So, if I try to print this variable, it's going to return result something like this. I'm going to have my value as a key and index as a value. Now, using this array, you can say orange has a zero index, mango has first index and banana has second index. So, you can easily configure the value and the array index using this array. So, whenever you want to get the array index or you want to flip the array, you can use this array flip function. So, I hope you understand how to use this function in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.